Hey, uh, welcome to the third episode of the What's in the Box. This is the series where I am looking in boxes. Last episode, I opened the box for the Bose QC35 second generation. Today, it's time to see some of their competition. And for that, I bought these. These are the Sennheiser PXC550. It's a big name, it means nothing. These are also premium, high-end, top of the line, active noise cancelling headphones over the ear as well. And they also have touch control on the ear caps like the Sony MDR-1000X have. By the way, if you don't know why they look like this, check this video. This is actually a nicer box than the one used by the Bose QC45 uh, uh, version 2. But you don't listen to the box, so let's unbox them and see how they look and how they sound. Well, you can see here all the specs. And let's cut it. Finally, this is well cushioned here. Enjoy live concerts everywhere. That's nice. I will. And they come in this very nice carrying case. It's not that bigger than the ones Bose used for the QC35. Second gen, it's actually heavier. And here are the manuals, which we don't need. And that's nothing else in the box, but they have a very nice phone. So I am impressed. Let's open them. Oh, and then this they have a velvety feel, which I don't like it. I'm allergic. Well, not allergic, but you know. Oops. See that you don't know which is the top and which is the bottom, so I open open them the other way. Here you have the headphones. I will put them aside. Well, this is flimsy. And here, I suppose you have all the cables. Oh, nice! And this come with the. Oh, airplane adapter and they also have the 6.3 millimeters jack the Bose didn't came with any of these this is the 3.5 millimeter to 2.5 millimeter jack because these ones use a 2.5 millimeter jack here which is a bummer so if you lose this cable you'll have to buy a specific one it's very soft still they don't look as good as the ones used by Sony, but hey, Sony headphones are cracking, so I can live with that. And this is the USB charging cable. It's a micro USB as well. You can use the 3.5 millimeters jack or the USB to connect them to your computer. And that's pretty much everything in the case. The case is very flimsy, especially for the price. These are actually more expensive than the Bose ones. They are 400 euros. The Bose ones are 370 or 380, depends or where you buy them from. There's a nice tag here, but the, the case is not very, uh, very tough. I think they will break inside this. Let's look at the headphones. What's very interesting about this is how you turn them on. So now they are off, now they are on. Off, on, off, on, off, on, on, off. The other way. <laughs> As you can see here, you have the volume control. Also it says to twist your cup to switch on, which I did a few times. These are very nicely flashing lights here for purring, I suppose. This is your all your connection. This is the noise cancelling stages. 
and this is where you tap your phone you should have NFC they are very nicely constructed they this I suppose this is not leather it's something synthetic but they have a soft touch plastic which doesn't leave fingerprints they are made from plastic as well this part is metal they have a nice solid click I don't think this will break now they are off as you can hear they also have an array of microphones around them for the noise cancelling the ear cup is a bit weird it has this egg shape which probably will not feel my stupid ear but let's try them they fit very nice in my head they even fit better than the Bose ones which actually surprised me however in this spot they kind of press on my head I don't know if it's because I'm bold and I feel everything or this is for everybody <laughs> like this there is a lady screaming in my ear, pairing. Far off, far on, pairing. So let's pair them and give them a quick test. As you can see, they appear here. And it's recognized as phone one. They actually don't say that what type of phone it is. So one tap it's pause, one tap it's play. You can swipe up for volume up, swipe down for volume down, swipe right for skip track, for next track, and back for starting again the track. Actually, they are more responsive than the Sony ones. This have a very nice sound. However, I'm, my head is already sweating and it's winter here. So I will not wear this in the summer. But they all have a very nice sound. So stay tuned for my full review of these and also comparing them with the Sony MDR1000X and the Bose QC35 second generation. Please subscribe.